Hello everybody, my name is Zool. Welcome to another video. Today we are installing a rather ambitious Fallout overall, Tale of Two Wastelands. Now before we get started, I want to mention a few things. This video is for the 2.9.4b version of the mod. At the time of this video, release date for 3.0 is unknown, but when that becomes available, I will try to put a link in to an updated guide at the top of the description, whether it's mine or somebody else's, it should be able to help you out. I also want to mention that this video is going to be long and aimed at beginning. So if you want to skip past the introduction parts, jump right into the installation, uh, there should hopefully be a time code down below, and if not, leave a comment and I'll try and throw it in. Uh, in this video, we're going to be using Follow Mod Manager. Uh, if I end up making a mod version of, or a version of this video that covers Mod Organizer, that too will be in the description. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at exactly what Tale of Two Wastelands actually is. To put it simply, TTW is a mod that combines Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 in the Fallout New Vegas engine. You start the game normally in Fallout 3, but with the improved mechanics from New Vegas such as Doctor's Bags and Hardcore Mode implemented. Later in the game, you can find a train which takes you to the Mojave Wasteland after a nine year journey, uh, where you start out the main story of Fallout New Vegas as normal, but you keep your existing characters, stats, skills, and gear. Uh, after that, you can freely travel through the two wastelands without any intros or cutscenes as long as you can buy a ticket on the trains. Uh, but not only is it just both games in one, it's actually a better way to play if you're interested in playing Fallout 3 because of a huge number of bug fixes and improvements that have been made to make things more stable and just overall a better experience. So if you're really craving playing Fallout 3, I actually suggest Tale of Two Wastelands. If you want more info, I'm sure somebody has a better write-up for you that you can find online. Uh, one thing to note is you're not going to be using Fallout 3 mods with this, you're going to be using some New Vegas mods that have been implemented. Check the TTW form or uh, leave a comment below if you want me to cover kind of a more expanded guide for this. Uh, but overall, this is an amazing feat of modding. I, I can't stress that enough. The team that works on this, the dedication they've poured into it, they deserve every ounce of the respect for this feat. It's amazing. I'm going to stop ranting now and we're going to go ahead and get into the rest of the video. To install TTW, you need to have the following things. If you do not have everything listed, then there is going to be a fairly good chance that something is not going to work. So just get everything that I tell you, fulfill all the requirements so that nobody wastes any time trying to troubleshoot a correct install or trying to install a mod and have things not work. Just please listen to this part of the video. If, if, if nothing else, just make sure you have the requirements. Finally, you must not under any circumstances be using any of the three mods listed right here. They cannot be used with Tale of Two Wastelands under any circumstances. You're going to cause problems. Just again, heed all of these warnings and requirements. I don't think I can stress this enough. So that's the requirements. Let's move on to the next step. In this video, we're going to be using Fallout Mod Manager to install Tale of Two Wastelands and the associated mods. To begin with, we need to download and install Fallout Mod Manager. Navigate to the link in the description and go to the file section of Fallout Mod Manager. Please note that you will need ver at least version 0.14.11.12 in order to install Tale of Two Wastelands. Do not install a legacy version of Fallout Mod Manager. Please note the link in the description and the mod number that is attached. There's two versions of Fallout Mod Manager on the Nexus. You want the latest version, just use the link in the description. Once the file is downloaded, run the FOMM installer. Select a directory to install Fallout Mod Manager to. I like to keep my modding tools in a folder on my D drive, so I'm going to install it right here. After that, hit Next and Next again. Check the box to create a desktop shortcut and then hit Next. Finally, hit Install. After the installation is complete, you can hit Finish and launch Fallout Mod Manager. You should have a screen that looks something like this. You want your manager to be set up to manage Fallout New Vegas. Before we move on, close Fallout Mod Manager. This is going to be important later, so just trust me, close it out right now. We'll open it up when we need to. To begin with, we need to start off with a fresh slate. This way, any issues that may crop up will not be a result of other mods, outdated files, or anything like this, and uh, it's going to keep troubleshooting to a minimum for both of us. So just uh, start off with a fresh, clean slate. We won't run into any problems. Now we get to Steam and uninstall both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, once you've done that, navigate to Steam, Steam Apps Commons, and find and delete both the Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas folders. This will remove any lingering mods or files that may be present after the removal of the installs. Once both games are purged, we're going to go ahead and install both Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. After the games have both been installed, launch Fallout 3. 
This is done to generate the, all the necessary any files and make sure the game's detected by our PC, and pretty much as soon as that's launched, quit. Do the same for New Vegas, while this time setting any needed options in the launcher, like resolution and stuff like that, because uh, technically we're going to be playing the game in Fallout New Vegas. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and download the needed files from taleoftwowastelands.com. I will have a direct links to the needed files in the description below. Navigate to the installation instructions page for version 2.9.4b and scroll down to the bottom. Click on one of the links and download the latest TTW installer. And do not forget the hotfixes. Seriously, just don't. They're located at the bottom of the post, download that as, as well. Once these files are all downloaded, drag them onto your desktop for ease of installation. Now that we have all of our main files downloaded and the games installed, we can begin the work of setting up the mod. Right click on Tale of Two Wastelands 294b.7zip and unzip the folder using 7zip. The folder will look something like this, and from here we're going to click on Tale of Two Wastelands installer and select Run as Administrator. This again is not optional, just please run it as administrator. Trust me, you don't want anything bad to happen. Once the file is open, it'll look like this. And if everything goes to plan, it should automatically pick up the location to Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, as well as create a folder where TTW is going to be installed. If for some reason the folders are not created, uh, you can select them either manually uh, by not clicking browse and navigating to them, or trying to close TTW and maybe launching Fallout 3 in New Vegas, seeing if that helps them auto detect. Uh, but either way, you need to point them to the place where your games are installed in Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas, and whatnot. Also, it is very, very important to keep sexy checkmarked. This is probably the most important step in the guide, so just please don't even attempt to uncheck it, even for a moment. Just please trust me. Once everything in the installer is set up, click Install. Depending on the power of your PC, this process could take a long time, so be prepared to wait. At some point during the installation, it'll ask you if you want to make a .fomod. Click Yes when prompted. Once the full mod is ready and the installer is finished, you will need to navigate to the Tale of Two Wastelands folder created by the installer, in my case that'll be Steam, Steam Apps Common, Fallout TTW, and make sure that it looks a little something like this. At this point, our full mod is ready, Fallout Mod Manager is installed, and we have everything ready to go. The first step is to add the full mods that were created to Fallout Mod Manager. We're going to be manually placing these in the mods folder because for Fallout Mod Manager to add these using the package manager uh, is likely going to cause a crash in our software. So we're going to navigate to the location of Fallout New Vegas. Uh, in my case, is Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout New Vegas. And from here, we're going to locate a folder called Mods. Uh, this is going to be created by the Fallout Mod Manager. We're going to take the .fomod files from Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout TTW and place them in the mods folder. Next, we're going to launch Fallout Mod Manager. Remember, you were supposed to have it closed earlier, I did warn you. And we're going to open up the Package Manager. You should be able to see two new entries on the screen that look like this. First, select the main file and hit the Activate button on the right. This process may take a long time. If your Fallout Mod Manager becomes not responding, do not worry. Let the Mod Manager do its thing. It's just a big mod, so sometimes it can cause a little bit of an issue. After a period of time, the mod will be successfully installed. Now we can go ahead and install the optional files by doing the same process. Click the file and click Activate. This time we're going to get a new window that allows us to select different optional files. Select the files you want to use and hit Install. Alright, real quick before we do anything else, we're going to close out of the Package Manager and make sure that our load order is correct and that all the files are checked off. Your load order should match mine. The uh, DLC packs like the Caravan pack are optional, but you need the DLCs to be in the same positions they are on the screen. So just make sure your screen matches mine and then we can go ahead and install the hotfixes. Finally, we want to install the hotfixes. Well, in the Package Manager, click the Add Full Mod button. Uh, from this menu, we're going to locate where we downloaded the hotfixes to and select the file. After a short period of time, it should add the hotfixes to the left pane on the package manager, and from here we can activate the package to install the hotfixes. And we should be good to go. The mods are now installed, but our work is not done yet. Before we go any further, we need to edit the any files for Fallout New Vegas. Now, some of these should have been automatically done when we installed Tale of Two Wastelands, but it never hurts to check because I have heard some reports of people having some problems with this. and. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate on to the any by going uh, here. You can kind of see on screen I'm navigating to my games. This is going to be located in C, users, uh, whatever your username is. 
uh, my games and then if we scroll down here you see this folder click on that open it up and there should be too many files here a uh, fallout.ini and a fallout press ini uh, and we should be able to right click on those and edit those with a text document tool like i'm doing right now so right click edit and should open it up in notepad all right, from here we're gonna make a couple of changes. First thing we need to do is confirm that the S character quest gen is what uh, you see on screen here. This will make Fallout 3 the start. Then we're gonna hit Control F and type in S intro movie. Make sure that is blank. Uh, this again is a core change, so it should already done. Finally, Control F and B load face. And we want B load face head gen, whatever you see on here, we want that to be equal to one. Next up, we're gonna go over to controls and I like to get rid of the mouse acceleration in the game. So we're going to copy and paste this block right here that I have uh, gone ahead and thrown in the description. And this is gonna make the game feel a heck of a lot better when you're playing it. If you uh, are going to do one optional any change, I would highly recommend this one. It's uh, pretty much unplayable to me in the game without it. Uh, next up, we're going to be adding a uh, tweak that I have found in uh, quite a few guides, actually. Uh, I'm not 100% sure why it's there, but pretty much every guide that I saw recommended it. Uh, so we're going to type in this right here after hitting Control S, uh, B, use threaded AI. I'm going to change that to equal to 1. Uh, but not only just that, we're also going to go ahead and add a line. Again, this is going to be in the description, uh, and this is just going to improve your performance overall. So just let me... Uh, click here, paste, uh, inum hwthreads equal to 2. So we want that added underneath. After that, we can go ahead and save the fallout.ini. Now, there is going to be some other changes you can make, uh, but that's uh, kind of beyond the scope of this video. I'm just going to be doing kind of the most basic any changes you can get. Okay, so in the prefs any, we're going to go ahead and hit Control F, and we're going to find the general section. Uh, so just type this in. Uh, click a couple times till you get the one with the square brackets around it for the categories. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna drop the same thing we did in the previous any file. So let me just pull that off of my second monitor here. And again, this will be in the description. B load, face hand jang equal to one. And we're also gonna add B use threaded AI as an additional line underneath general. We're gonna go down a line and add the I HW num threads, just like we did before. That's the optional change. And after that, we're gonna go ahead and save the fallout prefs any, cause we're done here. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and hit launch NVSE because it's time for us to actually test out what we have done so far. Uh, so we're gonna hit that button and after a little bit of time, it should launch our game. We'll get these menus uh, here, that kind of normal stuff. I'm gonna cut ahead to when that's all done. And you should get Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands listed like this. Now that's the first indication that things are installed properly, but just to double check, let's go ahead and hit the new game button. And we're going to start a new game. We'll see, again, this is still the New Vegas engine, but boom, TTW, new game start. And if we click on the Capital Wasteland, boom, there we are. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if it helped, please leave a comment down below, uh, all that general promotion-y stuff. I've been Zool, and I hope that you have an excellent day. Outro music, yeah!